This is what downtown Tripoli looks like on Saturday night. Pitch black on Al Rashid Street, except for the lights of passing cars. Widespread power outages have plunged entire neighborhoods into darkness. On a daytime visit to a market district, some people told us they hadn't had electricity in days. Over the last two weeks, it got really bad, says this shopkeeper named Rida. People are used to having air conditioning. We can't keep our food from spoiling. And some babies just can't take the heat. The situation makes uh, the Libyan people uh, angry, bored, get tired from everything. Tripoli's also suffering from crippling fuel shortages, causing huge gas lines and even forcing some drivers to simply abandon their cars. Hope for a reprieve died last week when Libyan rebels somehow captured this Libyan fuel tanker off the coast of Malta. Instead of docking in Tripoli, the Cartagena and its precious cargo of tens of thousands of tons of fuel sailed into the rebel capital of Benghazi on Thursday flying the rebel flag. Officials in Tripoli are accusing NATO and the rebels of carrying out an act of piracy, charges the alliance denies. Uh, with this uh, fuel uh, tanker ship arriving in, in Libya, thus we would have uh, managed to rationalize the uh, consumption of fuel for at least three, four months. And that will uh, lower the pressure on the, uh, the production. <laughs> Red lines. There's no question the international blockade of the Qaddafi regime is making life harder for ordinary citizens, and many here blame NATO. Go, 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 go. What you do here? Go, go. Maybe if need to, stay away from us and keep it for the Libyans themselves. It will be much better. But in restive neighborhoods like Sukal Juma, where residents say Gaddafi's security forces have rounded up and arrested hundreds of local men, some Libyans secretly told us they support the campaign to overthrow the man who's ruled the country since 1969. We say, hey, we want the freedom. But uh, freedom from what? Freedom for, for everything. We, we don't see the freedom from 1969. We don't see the freedom, never here. And so the siege of Tripoli continues, with some neighborhoods dark from blackouts, while near nightly airstrikes leave other parts of the city burning. Ivan Watson, CNN, Tripoli.